Hello folks, welcome back to yet another Football Manager Euro 2020 qualifying. Hello folks, welcome back to yet another Football Manager 2020 squad prediction video. That's right, for Euro 2020, which will take place next summer. In this uh, video, we're going to take a look at, of course, everybody's favourite, the Ukraine. That's right, here they are in all HD. Now, we're going to take a look at them just yet. I want to kind of familiarise yourselves with who who you should be expected to see in this uh, in this uh, sort of video. Some, some familiar names. So, we're going to take a look at the most recent squads uh, for the Ukraine. And of course, I'm using my trusty friend... It is Wikipedia. That's Wikipedia to you and me. Um, so, some familiar names. Now, again, you've got to take a look at some of these numbers. Are oh, Like, some of these low guys, they may have been brought in as, a, as an experimental sort of thing. Maybe trying out a few players. So, we're also going to take a look at this. So, uh, some standouts. Obviously, we all know. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where's Zinchenko? Uh, he didn't make the last squad, So, uh, but uh, he was injured. As was Marlos uh, Junior Morales. This has come out of nowhere. 32-year-old. Uh, Ukraine slash Brazilian kind of player. So he's one that you could, could expect to see. Also, their main uh, midfielder was Yarmolenko, obviously a West Ham uh, player these days. Uh, Knoplyanka is another one who also plays for Shakhtar Donetsk. And uh, Matavenko at the back there, 23-year-old uh, defender who seems to be the future of their defence. So these are just some of the names that you may see uh, in the in this, in this sort of thing. So let's hop back into the vortex here of uh, Football Manager. Now, what the purpose of this video is to see... Just how close to the money this amazing computer game, Football Manager 2020, can get to predicting the actual lineup. Now, we've already simulated to the to the start. The tournament. The tournament's actually well underway. I don't think Ukraine have done that well, but that doesn't really matter. What we want to take a look at are the players. So we're going to kick it all off right here, right now, with, of course, one of the goalkeepers. So, stand by. The so first up the block, we have Andrei Payatov, who is uh, the experienced uh, goalkeeper of Shakhtar Donetsk. He is in the most recent squad in the real world, but he does make the squad for the champion, uh, for the Euro champion for the euro 2020 get my words out it's always confused me the name of the european championships but anyway euro 2020 Piotov makes it and he is joined by mikola shaparenko who is a attacking midfielder 21 years of age does he as he made the recent squad i don't see him i don't see him at all so in fact i do see him he was actually selected um last time out in uh, september the 7th, 7th of September against Lithuania. So he did get a cap there. He's got 13 caps in this world. Rated at 9.5 million. He's probably one of the future players for uh, future superstars for Ukraine. He does currently play for Dynamo Kiev in this bizarre world and also in the real world. So Mikolola Shaparenko does make the squad. Again, I want to apologize for any butcherings of names because I'm not the great, I'm not, I've got Ukrainian in my in my vocab. So we'll see how we get on. Next up, we have Vladimir Shepalev, who is a 23-year-old midfielder, box standard midfielder, can play also as a as a defensive midfield and also further forward as an attacking midfield and now Shepalev um has he made the squad in recent times I can't see him I cannot see him so he's not in the real world I don't know how how close he is to the to the market he says he's got 12 caps to his name uh here so he's he's got uh he's got years years of uh, experience to gain for the Ukrainian national team, but right here, right here, right now, he makes the squad alongside Tarias Stepanenko. Now he is a familiar name. He's got 66 caps and three goals to his name in this real world. Um, he was uh, selected uh, as recently as 14th of October for the Ukrainian national side. Um, he was suspended for the last batch of qualifiers, but they were already over the line, folks. They were already over the line. Now, he does play for Shakhtar Donetsk, rated at £13 million. Pounds. He's had a really good season, 7.18 average in this bizarre world. So he, alongside the others, will go through, as will Sergi Sudachuk, who plays for Dynamo Kiev. He is a defensive midfielder, also bog-standard midfielder. Now, Sudachuk... Um, can't see him as well. Can't see him in the uh, in the in the in the real squad. So um, interesting, interesting to see if this this guy makes it across the line. Six million pound rated. A good season here at Iron Kiev in this uh, bizarro world. Seven point five two average rated. So he'll join the likes of Stepachenko uh, also in the squad. Next up we have Roman Ryamachuk, who plays for Ghent out in Belgium. Twenty four years of age. Um, it's, it's a name I've heard of a couple times. I'm just trying to scan the the most recent squads. He plays down the left or the right hand side of the attacking midfield. Um, 14 caps, two goals, and an excellent pace for a winger. 
Uh, okay season, 6.91 average rated. Yamachuk makes the squad. He's not in the most recent squads here. I can't see him. So that's another surprising name. Next up, we have Andre Yamalenko. Now, we did talk about him. He does play for West Ham. Rated at £45 million. That's right, 30 years of age. Could play down the left or the right-hand side. I think he likes to go down the right. He could also play as a striker. Uh, 11 goals in 36 games in this uh, bizarre world with a 7.10 average. Um very, very dangerous sort of uh, a player to have, and uh, he'll go. I think that's a no-brainer. I think he's one of the, the guarantees to go. Alongside this guy, Alexander Shinchenko, rated at £51 million. Pounds. Mr. Universe, you can play either left back, left midfield, right midfield, down the middle, striker, wherever you want to play Shinchenko, he will play. Uh, he's uh, played th uh, just 19 times last time out for, for Manchester City in this world. 6.69 average rated, but he will go. He is the face of the place. So Shinchenko will make the squad. Uh, alongside Roman Zol. Zula, who as a uh, attacking midfielder down the right hand side could also play as a striker. Um, it's actually prefers to be as a striker. He's actually wanted in this world by Inter Miami. Uh, Miami, Miami. Uh, he's had an okay season, scoring nine goals in the Segunda Division out in Spain. 6.78 average rated. Zorzula, um, don't see him. Don't see him at all in the, both the current or the most recent or the, the sort of... Um, Guys who've been called up in the last 12 months. So he doesn't. he's an interesting one that may or may not get in there. Artem Besedin is another one. Striker. Besedin is in the squad in the real world, scoring two goals in 13 games. So he makes it uh, in the real world and in this bizarro world. 9.5 million pound rated striker. Eight goals, 18 games uh, this past season in this fictitious universe. Alongside Artem Besedin will be Sergi Bolbat, who is a defensive uh, a defender, right back. Uh, rate £125,000. This contract is coming to an end. A lot of uh, Middle Eastern clubs sniffing around thinking, you know what, we could, we could bring him in for some big money, some Chinese clubs as well. Um, so Bolbat, he makes a squad. He's also in the real squad. He's got five caps in the real world. He's got eight in this universe. Uh, alongside him is Valerie Bondar, who's a 21-year-old centre-back. Bondar is is not in the most recent squad so he's a new name that could come out of nowhere rated at 3.8 million pounds four caps in this world so he's, he's, he's a he's a recent addition he's had a decent season for Shakhtar and the Ukrainian Premier League 7.52 average rated so he'll go uh, alongside Dennis Boyoko now that's the name I have seen just a minute ago uh, Dennis Boyoko 32 years old goalkeeper there he is Probably make it. He's actually hasn't been in the squad since October. He was injured. Um, he's got six caps to his names where they did bring in Yuri Pankiv uh, to play in the last uh, crop of games. He was a third choice goalkeeper, I think. Um, so he'll probably make it, Dennis Boyoko. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if uh, if this turns out to be correct. So he plays for Kiev, 3.7 million pound rated goalkeeper. Alongside him is Mikta Burda. Now, Mikta Burda also was injured uh, in the around about October, so he never made... Uh, the squad since then is 24 years old. He's a centre back. Can also play a left back as well. 10.5 million pound rated uh, defender. He's had an OK season out in the Ukraine. He'll go. He'll make the squad as well. Uh, joining him will be Junior Moraes. We talked about him. He is coming out of nowhere. Uh, he's a 33-year-old striker in this universe, scoring a bucket load of goals um, in the Ukraine. And he's also scored a bucket load of goals in this simulation with 15 goals, 11 assists, 7.66 rated. Uh, he'll make the squad. He's, he's formerly of China, three caps, one goal in this world. In the real world, he's got five caps, so... He's played quite recently to, to add to that tally. No goals in the real world, so we'll see uh, if he makes it. But uh, it's, it's looking likely. Uh, alongside Alexander Karavev. Alexander Karavev. Um, he's also in the real squad in, in, in most recent times. 27-year-old uh, slash 28-year-old in the real world. Played on the right-hand side as a defensive, uh, as a right-back, a midfielder, as also as a winger. So he's, a, he's also a universal player. Kind of like Shinchenko, but more... Predominantly on the right-hand side. Uh, okay, season 6.49 rated. Uh, he'll go alongside Eugene Kasharadi. It's a 32-year-old um, centre-back. Uh, Eugene, I've, I haven't seen him. Uh, he's got 54 caps to his name. It's a, it's a name that uh, has come out of nowhere for me. But uh, will he get back into the reckoning? If he's got 54 caps, I think he's got a good chance. He's playing out in the Middle East uh, for Al-Halal. At the moment, that might be hindering his chances. But... Uh, he's only he's actually signed mid-season. No, he did sign at the end of the season. 10.40 average rated uh, out in the Middle East. We'll see him if he goes. Eugene Knoplianka, he does make the squad as well. 30 years old, 94 caps, 21 goals. It was a no-brainer. Uh, Knoplianka and Yarmolenko are the faces or the, the sort of experience within the squad. Formerly of Schalke, now playing against football back in the Ukraine. 
Decent season, four goals, four assists, 7.46 rated uh, in this bizarre world. So Knoppelianka goes alongside Andre Lunin, who is the young goalkeeper actually on loan from Real Madrid. Playing his football for Valladolid, uh, Real Madrid paid £7.5 million to have his services uh, as potentially the future number one between the sticks. So he'll go. Uh, Lunin, will he be the number one? I don't think so. I think because he's not getting regular game time, he'll probably have to sit it out. Ruslan Malinovsky is another one. He's an, uh plays his football out in Syria. Ah, is that in the, in the real world or in just this one? Uh, it looks like in the real world too. A uh, 27-year-old midfielder can play defensive midfielder, uh, further forward as an attacking midfielder, and also straight, at, straight up, straight up as a midfielder. I think that's where he prefers to play. Formerly playing his football in Belgium. Had a, had a bit part season in this bizarre world. We'll have to see. Marlos does make the squad as well. Again, I did say he was injured recently. So he'll go. Uh, 32 years old. 17 caps. Uh, could play that on the right-hand side. 20.5 million pound rated. He's had an okay season here. 7.56 ra average rated uh, season. Three goals, five assists. So Marlos goes alongside Mikola Matavenko. Mikola Matavenko is a left back. Can also play as a centre back. He's in the real squad. In the real world, 23 years of age. There, yeah, over, the, over in the real world, 24 over here. 12 million pounds. Very, very good stats and attributes all over the place. As for his season, 7.15 rated. Uh, pretty decent uh, a calendar year for him. And then also Vitali Mikalenko, who is a wing-back left-sided player as well. He's also in the squad, 20 years of age. Uh, he'll become 21 when the tournament comes around. Uh, so he also comes in to 10.5 million pounds. Uh, rated just under the 7 for his average season, 6.99. So, Matalenko will go to Euro 20. And Andrea Payatov, we did talk about him. We opened up with him. But anyway, that is the squad. As here it is in all its glory. Um, yeah, so uh, what do you think about the Ukraine? What do you think about this squad, first and foremost? Do you think it'll get it'll be close to that? Do you think any of the players I'm completely missing or they're completely missing? Let me know in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, make sure you check out my predictions for the Ukraine. How, how close to the money did I get? How close to the money will I get um, when the tournament comes around uh, and when the squads are announced in May? Get your comments in nice and early. Give me your thoughts and opinions about Ukraine. Do they stand a chance? Will they be one of the dark horses out in Euro 2020. I want to hear all about it in the comments down below. Make sure you smash the thumbs up while you're at it and also smash the subscribe if you're new. Plenty of Euro 2020 content coming on the channel very, very soon. In fact, daily for the next few weeks. Until then, I'm out of here. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.